Ignorance of the law is not a defense for violating the law, but at times minor children do foolish acts without appreciating the consequences of their actions. This proposed bill creates a lesser category for punishment for minors who are 13 years of age or older, but under 18 years of age, who may knowingly possess and transmit any visual depiction of child pornography by means of electronic communication device. This proposed bill will truly allow the punishment to fit the crime. This bill provides another option for prosecutors to hold minors accountable for their actions where probable a cause exists without having to charge the minor child under the existing laws of child pornography, which carries with it a felony conviction. This bill is very important in updating our penal code by incorporating electronic communication devices and identifying the unlawful acts that minor children are committing without knowing it. This bill takes a pro proactive role in recognizing the devastation that our minor children would face if they were convicted under the current child pornography laws. This would mean that a minor child would have a felony on their record and he or she would have to register as a sexual offender. For all the above reasons stated, I again respectfully request and encourage your support for HB 5486 and 5533. Thank you. Good afternoon. Representative Rabimbis, as you know, um, we, when we had our forum at Naugatuck High School, you and I, regarding the issue of sexting, we had members of the prosecutor's office there and the state police, local police, counselors, and we had uh, an enormous crowd of people, uh, about half parents and half students. Really, one of the main things that, that I got out of it was just how rampant the problem really is, and, and so I thank you for your leadership on this particular, particular issue in highlighting it, because it, you know just about every child, every student at this, uh, those teenagers have a cell phone, which is also a camera, and which has internet capability, and it's just in seconds they can um, disseminate uh, these nude or semi-nude pictures, and just want to see if you wanted to re react to that. Thank you, Representative Labriola. That's actually a very good point that you made, and we did have the privilege of doing informational forum in our district uh, in Naugatuck, and it was very important because it was informative not only for the administrators and parents, but this is something that's been going on for a long, long time. Since technology, we've had the um, ability to take pictures on cell phones and videos, and unfortunately, it's something that's taken this long for our laws to catch up with. Um, and I think it's very important because we do need to provide options for prosecutors because unfortunately a child pornography charge for any minor child is devastating. Um, the informational forums that we had the opportunity to do not only was it educational but there's many parents out there that they have no idea what other functions these cell phones um, have when they're providing it to their children so it was informative on so many different levels but nonetheless we need to, need to establish something because we do need to um, hold minors accountable that's certainly why we have a juvenile justice system as well but being mindful of we need to make sure that the punishment actually fits the crime so so with regard to that the actual um, punishment um, it, under this proposal that act of sexting um, would carry, a, it would be an A misdemeanor as opposed to a felony and it would not have the um, sexual register, the sexual offender registration component to it, is that right? Yes, that's correct. And one other thing I would want to clarify, because I know it was mentioned earlier, is a class A misdemeanor is up to one year in jail or up also up to $2,000 fine. It could be one or the other one, or it certainly could be both. So I think it would provide that leeway, again, depending on the facts and circumstances of the specific situation, that it's not an automatic time in jail, for example. 